Hello aviation geeks, it's Mark Opwood here with another video. I'm in the TWA hotel at JFK, but it's just to throw you off the scent. We're not flying out of JFK, so let's head across to Newark and join me for the British Airways Dreamliner on the 787, the longest version of the Dreamliner, the 787 stroke 10, for a flight from Newark in New Jersey across the Atlantic to London Heathrow. Traveling the world on planes. Trains, trams, and more. and more. Join Mark Hopwood as he shows you some of the great journeys he's made. Let's travel to a whole variety of destinations. Remember to drop your comment below, like and subscribe, turn on the notification button, and never miss a video. So welcome to Grand Central Station in New York, the iconic concourse on the station uh, just behind me. Well, I've just traveled in on the Long Island Railroad on the relatively new uh, rail connection from Jamaica, uh, what's called East Side Access into the new platforms, the new station effectively built uh, underneath the existing arrangements here at Grand Central. And that means Grand Central now links to an entirely uh, new uh, set of destinations out on the Long Island network. And of course, Jamaica, one of the key interchanges on Long Island that also uh, plugs into the air train 
a JFK airport, so some significantly improved connectivity. I have to say, not many people from the airport making that journey with me this morning when I came in, uh, but hopefully it's proving uh, useful and business uh, will grow. Well, this is uh, one of the great American uh, railway stations and it's been kept uh, in good order recently, refurbished, revitalized and uh, looking good. So welcome to Penn Station, but a different part of Penn Station to the one I've ever been in before and maybe you as well. This is the Moynihan train hall. Next door for uh, many decades was the main post office in New York, a very grand uh, building, a fantastic uh, looking building, uh, actually on top of many of the train tracks. And what's happened uh, is the post office has closed and moved uh, out of town as many post offices around the world have. And that building has been completely transformed. And it is the building uh, I'm stood in now. So uh, it's providing additional facilities on top of the uh, existing facilities at Penn Station. So anyway, that's the background. That's why uh, the station is uh, as it is. Uh, there has been a bit of service disruption with a train uh, failure, but I'm hoping to pick up a departure uh, at six o'clock. Uh, it's a Amtrak Northeast Corridor service headed uh, down the eastern seaboard to Washington, D.C. I'm only riding on it for 20 odd minutes for the journey to Newark Airport. So uh, I'm hoping that train doesn't get delayed. So hello from the Newark Airport air train as I head from the mainline station on the Northeast Corridor into Newark Airport on the special train that runs uh, this short shuttle. Quite an eventful uh, episode there, the Amtrak service quite seriously disrupted. So in the end I bought another ticket and travelled out on New Jersey Transit on their Northeast Corridor service which left on time uh, 6.14 actually my train uh, the Amtrak service at 1805 actually left just after us at 1826 but I just wasn't willing to take the risk and uh, really didn't want to be getting to the airport too late especially with the weather that we're currently experiencing here in the New York, New Jersey area. Well, we, and you can see the rain on the window here, it's uh, not pleasant at all but we'll be in the airport very shortly. So. Um, I'm planning to be hand baggage only. Uh, I've got one cabin size suitcase and a small travel bag and uh, all my paperwork and documentation done. And it's my first experience uh, using my uh, global entry benefits. So uh, using the uh, TSA uh, facility to get through, hopefully a little bit quicker. Obviously I'm not allowed to film all that. So I'll talk to you once I get into the British Airways lounge.
soon it was time to leave this great little lounge that British Airways have got and head to the gate for the boarding of my flight. Group one got on first, which is always good news, and the aircraft was conveniently positioned for the BA lounge. So I showed my boarding card and then made my way straight down. Hello from uh, gate 54 here at Terminal B at Newark. Uh, safely on board our British Airways Dreamliner 787 Series 10 for tonight's flight to uh, London, but sadly still at the gate, quite a way past departure time. Really enjoyed the service in the lounge at uh, Newark. So uh, nighttime flight, I'm not having any food or drinks, so we won't be talking about that uh, in the review. I didn't check any bags in, so hoping at Heathrow to be able to get away uh, fairly quickly. So um, hopefully we'll be on the move soon. We'll have a look at the takeoff uh, from Newark and then uh, we'll uh, look forward to that arrival into London in the morning. So that's a flash test aircraft. Let's say welcome on board. My name is John Hayward. It's my pleasure to be pilot this evening. Six out of ten flights with me on the flight deck. Captain Declan Doherty and the captain of the cabin. Eleven, led by uh, Robert. Uh, as you're probably aware, the weather is uh, pretty inclement outside and quite uh, cold, uh, so we're expecting to de-ice uh, the wings and uh, tail on staff before we uh, push back and head down to the runway before we pass it. Perfect normal procedure, uh, we'll take a few minutes before we get away. As I said, 6 hours 10, uh, flight time, the weather on the roof is all here, so we'll be kind of above it, we're expecting uh, no further issues when the road is nice and clear. Um, obviously, we won't change that. We don't have to let you know. Camp crew will actually uh, give you a safe demonstration as always with our seats, especially for the night, but I'm sure you'll be getting some sleep. Keep the seatbelt suits fastened, and if you move around the cabin, you do need to put the seatbelt signs on for anything that's done. Uh, you take your seat as quickly and safely as possible, fasten the seatbelt suits. Oh we're just about ready to go up here. Uh, there's a couple of cargo doors open at the back, so we'll wait for those to close to get all the bags and cargo loaded before we start the icing. And then we can push it back and take another one. Next time you hear from me, we'll be 40 minutes to go with an arrival brief. So push back from the stand at Newark taxi and then a takeoff from runway 04 left takes us straight out over. New York and Connecticut uh, alongside the uh, Long Island Sound uh, over Cape Cod and then out over northeast Canada and straight out for a pretty regular Atlantic crossing. Uh, conditions were pretty good. We flew in over central Ireland, North Wales and then down over the Midlands. One loop of the Bovingdon stack was undertaken before commencing an approach over Berkshire for runway 09 left at London Heathrow. The great thing about landing on 09 left is uh, if you uh, get the reverse thrust in and you make the brake application, you can uh, get yourself to the stand. And terminal 5 quite quickly, which is what we did. But then we were taxiing at Newark here and commencing our takeoff roll on runway 04 left.
apologies for the poor nighttime footage. I'm still learning a little bit about that. Well, I headed off to sleep once the fasten seatbelt sign uh, was taken off and I woke up in time for a little bit of breakfast the following morning as we made our approach to London Heathrow. Quite a small breakfast for a short flight, orange juice and a panini with a couple of extra little snacks. Uh, I had that and then it was great to have a look out of the window uh, as we made our morning approach towards the UK and down to uh, Heathrow. It's great when you're above the clouds uh, to have um, that clear visibility, uh, but of course quite a bit of cloud cover around the UK. Please take a moment to like the video, subscribe, and then press the notification button. And that was us down on the ground at London Heathrow on runway 09 left, all that it remained now was for us to make that short taxi to Terminal 5 to one of the B gates where we alighted and took the train back into the terminal. I hope you've enjoyed the video, found it interesting and useful and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss any of the great trips Mark has coming your way on this YouTube channel.